Every morning, a small town witnessed a majestic eagle landing near a stray kitten, creating an unlikely friendship that captivated the locals. The children named the kitten Whiskers, who seemed comforted by the eagle's presence. This daily ritual fascinated the town until one morning, the eagle behaved oddly. Melissa watched closely as it approached Whiskers, expecting a typical interaction. But suddenly, the eagle grabbed Whiskers with its beak and flew away, leaving Melissa in shock and tears. Whiskers, a beloved stray, was always well fed by the town. Initially, there was concern for Whiskers' safety with the eagle's visits, but as no harm came, the town accepted their unique bond. However, when Melissa witnessed the eagle taking Whiskers, she urgently sought help, unsure if anyone would believe her. Racing back to town, she encountered a hiker unaware of Whiskers and the eagle, but she pressed on, determined. Upon reaching the town, her cries about Whiskers being taken rallied the townspeople. They quickly organized search teams, working in shifts and using a group chat for updates. Melissa, taking charge, directed Tom, Linda and Sarah to different town areas while she headed to the ranger station to seek Randy's help. Despite her fatigue and the locked ranger station, Melissa persisted, eventually reaching Randy by phone. Together, they planned to search known eagle spots. Randy warned Melissa that eagles might prey on small animals, preparing her for the worst. They scoured various locations, but Whiskers was nowhere to be found until they spotted an eagle carrying something small. Following it, they discovered not a tragic scene, but Whiskers joyfully reunited with his mother watched over by the eagle. The town rejoiced at the happy ending, and Whiskers became even more cherished. The eagle, once viewed with suspicion, was now seen as a guardian. This adventure strengthened the community bond, and Melissa and Randy celebrated their teamwork, grateful for the unexpected help from the eagle, now regarded as a local hero. The community's perception of the eagle transformed from mere curiosity to reverence, seeing it not just as a wild creature, but as a protective figure. Stories of the eagle's behaviors circulated, enhancing its mythical status among the locals. This heartwarming tale of an eagle uniting a kitten with its mother inspired a deeper appreciation for the natural world's mysteries. Melissa's experience also sparked a wider interest in wildlife among the townspeople. Educational talks about the importance of local fauna and the ecological roles of predators like eagles were organized. Melissa herself became an advocate for wildlife protection, driven by her personal journey from fear to fascination. The rescue and reunion of Whiskers became a symbol of community resilience and cooperation. It was a reminder of the unexpected ways nature can bring people together and the profound connections between humans and wildlife. As Whiskers continued to thrive under the watchful eye of his eagle guardian, the town embraced a new ethos of coexistence with their natural surroundings, cherishing every creature's role in the world's tapestry. Over the years, the tale of Whiskers and the eagle expanded beyond the town's borders, reaching news outlets and sparking interest far and wide. Wildlife magazines published stories, documentaries were filmed, and interviews with Melissa aired on television. What had started as a simple, unlikely friendship between a stray kitten and a majestic bird of prey became a symbol of unity in an increasingly fragmented world. Tourists began visiting the town not just for the natural beauty, but to connect with the legacy of Whiskers and the Eagle. The town thrived on this newfound attention, but they never let it become commercialized. Instead, the townsfolk maintained the heart of the story, one that spoke of kindness, patience, and respect for all living creatures. The statue of Whiskers and the Eagle became a destination for visitors from around the globe, each one leaving with a sense of the bond that transcended species, time, and space. One spring, as the town prepared for its annual Whiskers Fest, a young wildlife photographer named Lucas arrived. He had heard about the bond between Whiskers and the Eagle, but more than that, he had heard about the town's transformation. Lucas was inspired by the way this small, quiet place had turned a simple story into a movement of compassion and understanding. He planned to capture the essence of the town's spirit through his lens. Lucas set out to meet the locals 
and naturally, he sought out Melissa, the woman at the heart of the story. When he finally met her, sitting on her favorite park bench near the statue, he was struck by her calm and reflective demeanor. Despite the years that had passed, Melissa's eyes still sparkled with the same awe she had felt the day the eagle had first swooped down to watch over Whiskers. Do you think the eagle knew? Lucas asked, curious to hear her perspective. Did it really care about Whiskers the way we humans care about our pets? Melissa smiled softly, looking up at the clouds drifting lazily across the sky. I think, she began slowly, that the eagle didn't see Whiskers as prey or as something different. It simply recognized another living being that needed help. Maybe that's what we all need to do more of, just see each other for who we are, not for what we expect each other to be. Lucas was moved by her words, and as they sat there in the golden light of the afternoon, they watched a hawk soar across the sky. For a brief moment, Lucas could imagine the eagle that had once glided through these very skies, its sharp eyes keeping watch over a tiny kitten. The following year, Lucas's photo series on Whiskers Fest and the town was featured in an international exhibition, bringing even more attention to the values the town stood for. Compassion, respect for nature, and the power of connection. Visitors came not just for the story of the eagle and the kitten, but to experience the sense of community that had blossomed from it. Meanwhile, Melissa continued her quiet life her heart full from the knowledge that Whiskers and the Eagle had left a lasting impact on so many lives. She was often invited to give talks or participate in wildlife preservation efforts, sharing her story to remind others of the beauty in the world, even in the smallest acts of kindness. One day, while walking through the now famous park, Melissa noticed a family gathered around the statue. A young boy, no older than six, was standing with his hand on the base of the monument looking up in awe at the bronze eagle and kitten. Melissa approached quietly, overhearing the boy's conversation with his mother. Mom, do you think I could be friends with an eagle too? He asked, his wide eyes filled with wonder. His mother smiled, brushing a lock of hair from his forehead. You can be friends with anyone, as long as you're kind and open to understanding them. Melissa felt a warmth in her chest as she walked past, knowing that the legacy of Whiskers and the Eagle had taken on a life of its own. It had become more than a story. It had become a beacon of hope and a reminder of the bonds that can form in the most unexpected ways. As the sun dipped low in the sky, casting long shadows over the town, Melissa paused one last time to look at the statue, feeling grateful for the life she had lived and the lesson she had learned. Whiskers and the Eagle may have been gone, but their story would live on in the hearts of everyone who came to know it. A story of friendship, love, and the extraordinary connections that make life beautiful.